Hey there, what's up? Day 18 of the 28 day consistency goal where I upload an honest expression to YouTube every day. And today is a tough one. So today my wife, mother of our baby, lovely lady, was in contact with the hospital or someone here in Taiwan on the phone about vaccinations for our daughter who is four months old in two days. And if you didn't know already, I don't support vaccinations. I have a very big problem with the idea of injecting an infant with anything, and even more of a problem with injecting an infant with something that you don't know. So we had a disagreement, this video is very difficult because it's about anger. I have anger inside me and when I become super frustrated in a situation, I want to throw a tantrum style and I want to shout and today I did just that and I shouted the kind of shout where you just let go of all of the restriction in your voice and max it out and it feels really full on and it causes a tremendous amount of fear in your wife and your daughter and I'm, I'm pretty well ashamed of that action as much as I tried to rationalize it and justify it in the moment filled with anger and righteousness. I don't know how to deal with it otherwise. The situation, they want to put more needles in my daughter. I don't agree. I don't agree with living from fear. And I'm not saying that I will never take my daughter to a hospital. I'm not saying that I want to rub garlic all over my baby because I love Mother Nature and I want to live in the mountains. I'm just saying that I don't want to put needles inside my infant daughter. Or anything that's inside those needles inside my daughter as well. But I want the things that are inside... <laughs> no thank you. When she's 18 and she wants to go and get injected with needles with mysterious substances and pay for the privilege, then she may very well do that. But while I am her, one of her primary caretakers, I will voice my concerns. The problem being, there's a language barrier to some degree, and the information that I've seen, learned from, that has formulated my position, may or may not be available in my, mother, in my uh, wife's native language, which is Mandarin, Zhongwen, or Taiwanese at all. And the culture here is very normal, very societally refined. Everything works well together to promote the narratives of the society, and the people do well to encourage each other to stick to that. And I am just so far from that in my own personality and that my journey has led me to where I'm at that we hit a tremendous difference today and it was not enjoyable and I was violent verbally something I said in the, in the moment in the situation was that I didn't say anything that I didn't mean I didn't use any words that were hateful, I didn't become spiteful, I just maintained my truth that needles are not necessary and it wouldn't be happening. And I was met with a refusal and a 
of course, because I was just being blunt and unmoving and trying to assert. I was met with the same assertion. Now, at least right now, my wife is afraid of me and I feel like a cunt. I behaved like a cunt. I behaved immaturely. I showed my age and my immaturity. But I do wholeheartedly believe that sticking needles into babies is 100% unnecessary. That natural immunity is the pinnacle of human wellness in this world and that trying to fuck with that with human engineered substances is only going to lead to more complications so this video is <sighs> I just want to express ask for advice to apologize to my wife. It's so difficult in these situations to put aside convictions. There's a picture that always comes into my mind of two adults who have had a fight and they're sitting back to back and they don't want to talk to each other and inside them there are two infants that are just dying to embrace each other and be kind and